just sit on the ground in front of me or on the floor, I mean. And How are you doing today? Good? Good. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about what Jesus said in today's gospel reading. You know that Jesus wants us to love everybody, right? So we love who? How many of you love your family? How many of you love your friends? Good. How many love your pets? Okay. What about your enemy? First of all, we talk about Jesus says we have to love even our enemy. What's an enemy, first of all? Can you give me an example of an enemy that you might have? Yes. Someone you don't like, okay? Someone who's mean to you. Very good. What else? Say that again. Someone who's really annoying, okay? <laughs> Yes. Somebody who bullies you. How many of you have ever been bullied before? Yeah, okay. Who else might hurt you? Or who else would you consider to be your enemy? Huh? Water to your books? <laughs> you're, too, you're thinking too philosophically for me. Okay, that's okay. What else? When you spill water, here we go back to water. When you spill water on what? Oh, your shirt, I'm sorry. No, that's not, water is not an enemy. Only people can be enemies, right? People who want to hurt you, people who want to make fun of you, people who call you names, people who like push you. They just don't like you for some reason, right? But Jesus says we have to love them. Is it easy to love our, our enemies? It's not. Is it easier to not like them? Yeah. So I'm going to tell you a story about an enemy that I had. How many of you are in the third grade? Lots of you. Okay. So when I was in the third grade, I was going to school. And I was short, in case you hadn't noticed. Okay. I was always very small. And there was this one guy in my class in the third grade who was a lot bigger than me. In fact, he was bigger than everybody, right? He's just a big guy. He probably should have been in the eighth grade, but that's his name. <laughs> so, his name was Dwayne. They're not Dwayne the Rock, no. <laughs> not Dwayne Johnson. Johnson. His name was Dwayne. And he did not like me for some reason. Maybe because I was small, maybe because uh, I was handsome, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. He was jealous of me. I don't know. But anyway, he always used to kind of cause me trouble. Here's what he did, like almost on the first day of school. You know, when I went to school, my mom used to make us a lunch, okay? And my mom would put all the good things in here that I really liked, such as peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> and Carrots. Gotta be healthy. Maybe an apple, which my mom told me would help me grow. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> and the best of all, cookies. Oh, so good. Well, anyway, so we used to sit outside eating in the yard on benches, and this guy, Dwayne, walks over to me. He goes, Hey, give me your cookies. I go, what? <laughs> no, those are my cookies. It's part of my lunch. He goes, give them to me. I want them. And I go, no, sorry. And he slapped my hand and the cookies fell on the ground. Thank you. They weren't even in the bag. They just went right on the ground, on the gravel. I couldn't believe he did that. 
and I told him something that you should not say at home, probably. <laughs> but I said, you jerk, what's wrong with you? You idiot, that's what I called him. I know you're not supposed to say that at your home, but in my home, you could say that. <laughs> so, he goes, what are you gonna do about it, shorty? And he laughed and he walked away. I couldn't believe that he did that. I was just like, what? So I made, he made me really mad. And you know what? The next day, he did it again. He came up to me. I tried to eat somewhere else where Dwayne wouldn't find me, but he found me. And he's walking over to me and I go, oh no, Dwayne's coming. And he goes, hey, shorty, give me some cookies. And I go, Dwayne, these are my cookies. And he goes, I said, give me a cookie. So I took one out and I gave it to him and he grabbed it from me, he didn't even say thank you, and then he laughed, he was laughing as he walked away. He was just a mean guy to me. So, what I did is when I went home, I didn't want to tell the teacher because I didn't want to cause trouble because Dwayne was bigger than me. So, I went home and my mom was making me and my brothers lunch for the next day at school. And I told my mom, don't give me any more cookies, Mom. She goes, why, are you okay? Are you sick or something? You don't want cookies? And I said, no, nah, no, nah, just don't give me cookies. She goes, no, what's going on? And I said, well, there's this guy at school who keeps taking cookies. He's like threatening me. He's a big old guy. And he knocked them out of my hand, and then every time I have some cookies or something, he expects me to give him one. He goes, well, why don't you tell your teacher? And I go, oh, I don't want to cause trouble. You know, it's just a cookie. But I said, but don't give me any cookies anymore. She goes, okay, well, listen, she said, go to sleep, and in the morning, um, I'll tell you what our plan is, how we're going to deal with it. Okay, so next day, I woke up, and my mom was putting our bags together, and she goes, okay, here's your lunch, little Perry. And... Uh, <laughs> I had my sandwich, and I think this time I had celery and an orange instead of an apple. Then I look in there and go, what? <coughs> I told you I did not want cookies. She goes, no, those are for you. And I go, but you know, I don't want, because you know the way, and she goes, no, 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 look in the bag. So I looked in the bag, two bags of cookies. And I go, what are you doing? She goes, one bag is for you, one bag is for Dwayne. I go, what? <laughs> I don't want Dwayne to have cookies. He doesn't deserve it. He's like treating me bad. He's always bullying me and slap cookie. Why, why are you giving our cookies to Dwayne? She goes, listen, Dwayne, something's wrong with Dwayne, maybe. Maybe he's lonely. Maybe he really would like cookies, but his mom won't give him any. Maybe he just, that's his way of wanting attention. So she said, we're gonna try this. When you go to school today and he comes looking for you, tell him, Dwayne, my mom said these cookies are for you. So I go, oh, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> you have to do it. So I went to school and we were sitting out eating our lunch again, and here comes Dwayne. But before Dwayne could say anything to me, I said, hey, Dwayne, come over here. My mom put some cookies in my bag. She said, these are for you. And he looked at me like, what? And I go, no, these cookies are for you, from my mom, because I know you want cookies. My mom said she will give you some every day with me. So he looked at me and he just like took them, and just walked away. So they didn't bother me. The next day and the next day, I did the same thing. Like if I had another Nutter peanut butter cookies or something else like that, Dwayne always had a bag. And he would come to me and I was, or if he didn't come to me, I would go looking for Dwayne now. <laughs> I say, Dwayne, you forgot the cookies that my mom made for you too. He didn't bother me anymore. And one day he said to me, Perry, you, your mom doesn't have to give me cookies anymore. I go, really, you don't want them? He goes, no, 
That's okay. Now, maybe he talked to his mom, and maybe his mom told me to say that. I don't know. But from that day on, Wayne was not a bully anymore. He actually became one of my friends. And we went through fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade together. Then after eighth grade, we went our separate ways to high school. I never saw Dwayne again. I don't know whatever happened to him. But I'm telling you that story because Dwayne, who was my enemy, right, became my friend. How did he become my friend? By me punching him in the face? Well, how? By giving him cookies. What did Jesus say? Do good to people who want to hurt you. Give to people who ask. Pray for your enemies. That's the other thing my mom said I had to do. I was supposed to pray for Dwayne. When we said our prayers before we went to bed, me and my brothers, we had to pray for somebody. And my mom said, it'd be good to pray for Dwayne. I go, oh no. <laughs> Dwayne, because he was still my bully at that time. He was a bully. So I prayed, dear God bless Dwayne. And <laughs> give him some cookies. I... <laughs> but no, I prayed for Dwayne. So that's what Jesus says. We have to do good to people who are mean to us. Now, if somebody's really mean and hurts you, then you should tell your teacher, tell your mom or dad. But what does Jesus say? Should we fight back? Should we do, should we do what they did to us, to them? No, we are to love our enemy. Because sometimes when we're good to our enemies, they will then change and be good to us. You know why Jesus could teach that? Was Jesus ever bullied by people? Look on the cross behind me. Who did that to him? His friends or his enemies? His enemies. Did Jesus fight back? He didn't call lightning down on them? What did he say? He prayed for them. He said, Father, forgive them. Jesus loved his enemies. And by dying on the cross, he even forgives them. So when we are kind to our enemies, when we are good to people, even if they're not good to us, we are being like Jesus. Does that all make sense to you guys? Yeah. Very good. So next time you're bullied or you have an enemy, two things. Try to be kind and then pray for them. Yes. Oh, your sister is your enemy? <laughs> So, what does she do? <laughs> yeah. But that was a long time ago. She's, yeah. So the best thing is don't fight with her, though. Just be nice to her. Okay. Well, just keep trying. That's okay. Or talk to your mom or dad about it, right? <laughs> well, eventually your sister will, and you will grow up and be older, and then you'll get along you don't believe me? <laughs> well, talk to me in a few years. Let me know. All right, boys and girls, you did a great job. We're going to stand up and profess our faith. Say, 